My name is Paul Harvey. I've been around a long time and life gets better every day. I'm married. We all go by her first name, Trudy, because her given name was a little hard to pronounce, but we've been married uh, 50 some years, have had a wonderful time together and it's been a very enjoyable time. My name is uh, Waltraut Gerda Roman Harvey. Uh, before Paul and I uh, met, uh, I was in a marriage that did not work out and I had two sons. Anyways, I got a job at Kroger's in a grocery store on Portage. I had never met her until they were building a new store and I was working at the new store, stocking and getting ready for the opening. And I came by. Paul came in to get a paycheck. Knocked on the door and so the door opened and behold, here was this young lady. Had a big, big smile on her face. There was something that really attracted me to her, was her hair. He talks about my hair, well, we did some messing with a beautician that was going to school and my hair was sort of, it wasn't red and it wasn't blonde, it was really different. She had beautiful hair and a great smile. It was captivating. And I guess that's what attracted him to me because <laughs> he thought that was really something. We went out for pizza one night. At, uh, Downtown Kalamazoo, Bimbo's Pizza. I did a lot of talking. Paul was a Tory storyteller and he had lots of stories. About my life and talking to her about things that I had did. And the places he'd been and the things he'd done, I just couldn't believe that any one person would do so much. When I got home, my friend asked, well, how was it? How was your date? How did it go? And I said to her, I don't know about this guy. He's either the biggest liar I've met or the richest man ever. But let me tell you, he was neither. <laughs> uh, something special that made me realize how much I loved Trudy and cared for her. We went to Lake Michigan this one particular day. It was the sun was too hot, he burned. We would go to Lake Michigan. He would wrap up in a big old sheet and lay on his side and the boys and I would go down to the water and have a good time. We had a small grill that we took with us and going to grill steaks. And we took that and I made uh, potato salad and different things. And we stayed down by the sand and set up the small grill and got it going. And uh, We were both hungry, looking forward to having a, a good steak grilled out there in the open and the sun shining, the breeze blowing. Unbeknown to us, somehow the grill tipped over and the stakes landed in the sand, covered with sand. What really happened, I went to flip the stake over and when I did, it flipped off my fork right into the sand. And I said, oh no, what we're going to eat now? He said, oh, I'll take care of it, don't worry. Well, we weren't going to be defeated, so I took and picked the steaks up and washed them off in the lake. He washed it off as best as he could. Not that that was the cleanest water to wash it with, but you know, when you're dating, it doesn't matter. You just do what you have to do and say it's okay. Tried to get as much of the sand and grit out as I could. And uh, we started all over again, grilling those steaks. We ate them. There was a little bit of grit now and then. But when you're in love, anything tastes good. It was the fire burned off the germs that were on it from the water, I'm sure. Well, I mean, you're still alive, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, you bet. That was probably one of the most memorable things that could have happened and still enjoy life together. The definition of the word love itself, no matter what that person goes through, whether it's health or sickness, your love is so deep that you do whatever you have to do. You don't walk away from it because they're sick or you walk away from it because they can't do nothing. Love is, is unconditional.
It doesn't matter what. Help make decisions together, work together, play together, enjoy life together. If you really love that person, it doesn't matter. It's an unconditional love, no matter what happens. Trudy and I have always did things together, and we still enjoy doing things together. There's no one that I enjoy being with any more than her, even at the age that I am now. But doing things together is the most important thing, and being honest with one another those are the, uh, the, the great things of life. You have to work things out. You can't give up. You have to straighten. If there's problems, you have to straighten it out. If you have to talk, you have to always talk to one another constantly. And sure, we're two different people, and each one has different ideas of different ways. But somehow, you have to merge those things together. And yeah, I have my own ways and he has his, but it's okay because we are different. But one thing we learned, you never go to bed angry. We always talked it out and got it straightened out. Whether I was right, he was wrong, it didn't matter. It we solved the problem. But what is really wonderful, she's a great, wonderful cook. She is the, the best cook that I know of. She can fix any type of food and it's always tops. I appreciate that. That's why I'm so chunky, you know, a little bit overweight, but I enjoy being overweight, especially when I'm eating her delicious food. Okay, Paul. What? How are you? Oh, I'm doing wonderful, darling. That's good. I love you dearly, my dear. And I love you very, very much. You're the love of my life. I'm so glad that I am the love of your life, and I'm glad you came into my life. Together, we became one big, lovable hunk. That's it.